Hello, this is a quick tutorial on what to do if you have an image or a subject in a photograph that looks very pale or washed out, possibly from too much exposure, too much sunlight, or bad camera settings. Open up Portrait Pro 15, select Open Image, get your picture, let it load up. It's doing finding faces in your image, and let's see where the blue lines land. They look pretty good. So select girl, it's a little girl. And I can already see that her bottom lip needs to be adjusted. So if you hit your zoom feature, your scroller, or your slider rather, and slide over, fix her bottom lip by fixing your blue lines by pulling it down using the little yellow anchors. Done. Okay, now hit face so we can see the face in um, its entirety. And we only want to work on our view after only view. So hit that. View after only. Now, what's wrong with this picture? Possibly nothing. It's all relative. You judge the way you want a picture to look. I think this little girl looks way too pale um, and washed out. And again, it could be the camera settings, the fact that she's standing in sunlight. She looks like she's in the park. Or it may just be her natural skin coloring, which is attractive enough. But I just think she needs to look a little more like sun-kissed and healthier. Okay. Um, the first thing we want to do, there's not much to do because she's a little kid and you don't want to put a lot of color on her face. Go to makeup controls. I'm just going to change her lips slightly. So if you drop down with your gray arrow, your makeup controls, the first slider is lipstick. And I know that sounds weird to put lipstick on a little girl, but... She needs something there. So let's pull it over a tad. That's way too much. Okay. Let's pull it over just a little bit, not too much. And at the default, it gives us a nice warm coral color, which is almost a natural, healthy lip color. Um, and I'm going to put that at 30, 30, around 30. Okay. And that's really it. I mean, she could use some eyelashes, but I put eyelashes on everybody, so don't listen to me. But I'm not going to do that. So we are done with makeup controls. Okay. Now, the only other thing we need to do is to see what we can do with her coloring. Um, and we can try that. Let's try picture controls first. And I'm dropping down picture controls with the gray arrow next to picture controls. Uh, let's try temperature. That helps a lot, see? At the extreme, at the other end is weird. Okay. Let's move temperature up to 47, I moved it to. Exposure. All right, let's leave that where it is. We don't need that brightness. Let's turn brightness down a little bit under our picture controls. I'm going to pull it almost all the way down. Actually, I think I will. Move it to the left and it's minus 100. And as you can see, it already added some warmth and some um, interest to the picture and some coloring. Okay, now slide down here and do tone curve and mess with that and see what you get. That's at the extreme right. Extreme left, no. Let's see. Let's just put it down a tiny bit. I moved tone curve to 34. Minus 34. Okay, that's that. Now, close out your picture control. I don't like all these drop downs in my way. Gray arrow click. Now, let's go to skin coloring controls and see what we can do. We could use our presets here, but I don't want to. I like to control my own situation. Let's try temperature. I want to add a little something. All right, let's move temperature to 50. And I want to do a little bit of cheek coloring. And we're going to do cheek coloring. That's too much. A lot of little kids have the ruddy cheeks like that, especially when they're outside running around playing. So to me, it looks a little natural. Uh, mm, not too much. The 29 cheek coloring. 10. I can't imagine what that's going to do, but... Oh, no. <laughs> 10. Hmm. Okay, 10's at minus 31. Um... And you could fumble with the hair color a little bit, but I think it looks a lot better like it is. It's not overdone. It should be just enough. Now let's compare before and after by clicking our view tab. View before and after. There you go. 
I mean, it's all um whatever your perspective is on how your subject and your picture should look. You might say I made her look too ruddy, but I think she looks healthy and glowy and like a little girl having a good time in the sunlight and absorbing some sun as little kids should. So that's the difference in the two pictures. Again, you have your before picture here and there's your after picture. So even if you have a subject that's almost completely washed out, there's still hope for your photograph using Portrait Pro 15. Okay, that's it for now. Bye. There's a thin line between thin reality line. and psychosis. Please subscribe. <laughs> <laughs>